Okay, so anyway, I've drawn in A complement and B complement now, Brian. Okay. And because this is a um, what should the answer be? Um, it would be the center. No. No. Oh, you're right. It's a crosshatched area. What oh. am I thinking? No, it's not that either. Oh. Because we're doing... Because we're doing... Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. But because you're doing it is where you take all the shading kind of in one big happy party together. So the answer to number four is all the shading... I, I lost your audio. It's... It's what? Okay. You know, I don't know. The I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up on you and see if we can maybe fix our problem here. Sorry. Well, it's, it's better yeah. now. For whatever reason, it cuts in and out periodically. So anyway, let's try this one more time. Okay. Um, you see, I've got all the shit done now for A complement and B complement. Correct. And is all shading together. So in other words, the answer is everything except that little part in the middle where they enter. Everything except the uh, the white in the center, huh? That, that is correct. So actually the answer is everything except the white. Yeah, that, that threw me for a, a loop. I don't know. Oh, one yeah, well, one more thing about, rem remember this, intersection, the answer is only where the cross laps, and union is all, all shading in all directions taken together. It's all together, okay. Yeah, because uh, number seven on that same so that, so the answer. yeah, the A complement intersect B complement, that was uh, yes. everything out, outside of A and B, so that was the that, universal that, space. That was the same picture, the same picture, but now the cross-hatching is the answer. Cross-hatching is the answer, okay. Yeah, so it turns... Yeah, I just, I, I struggled with that one. The, the picture looks... In, yeah. So it's all, all the okay. lines. Okay. Patrick, are you still on with us? Yes. Valencia, yeah. just a double check. Valencia? No, she can't. Still no audio for Valencia. Um, all right, let me try unmuting her. Okay, so Valencia, still nothing? No, she's gone right now. Um, yeah, it's too bad. But I think our audio has improved. We don't have the echoing now. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the problem. All right. Um, who's next? Or what's the next question? I could see Valencia, but can't hear her. I can see her also. Huh. She can't hear me, and I can't hear her. And she said her volume is all the way up, so we've already done some trouble. Okay. It's one of the only questions I had. I was on the extra credit. Um, see. Maybe if if we have time, could we could we look at number ten on the extra credit? Um, we on the extra credit. You mean ten on? Yes, uh, page 80, number 10. 
2.3. Yes, unless it's page 80? Page 80. Okay. It's a Venn diagram. 2.3, number 10. Number 10. Okay, so we've got our Venn diagram. Eight, three circles, correct? Correct. Number 10. So I'm going to do this in parentheses first, okay? Sure. So for... In parentheses. Uh, um, let's, let's see, I'm going to have to do it a different way. Okay, that should look like A union B. I, 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 I cut a corner there, but isn't that what A union Correct. B would look like? Right. Ryan? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, you, all right. Now, where does C overlap that? C intersects. So I'm going to just color in C. So C is colored in. Now, where does C intersects at the uh, C overlap that A union? at the A union B C so it's the three areas there where it's cross hatched it's the cross hatch yeah right that is correct right in here okay and that would be that would be the final solution on number 10 so the easiest thing to do is always the items in parentheses first i would i would suggest that even though it's okay. being subtracted I think that would be the way to do it, yeah. What I what I did was uh, I put the numbers in the circles and then I had in parentheses C, which was numbers four, five, six, and seven. And then I did the same for A and B. I, I put all those numbers in parentheses. Actually, number you know now you know. Let me do let me do number ten another way because actually we with um, with the numbered regions instead of a Venn diagram. Okay, so let me just do it again. Okay. Uh, nothing wrong with what we did, but they wanted us to do it with um, with so here's doing the problem again. So we have C intersect A union B. Okay, and C is four, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, and seven. Intersected with, and now what's A union B? A. One, two, three. A. Yeah, one. T uh, let me see. Union. I'm I'm skipping a step again. Yeah, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. And now what's the intersection? The intersection would be 5, 6, and 7. Yeah, and if you look back, that's the same answer we got. Right. The diagram. Okay. So this... this, this this way is actually the way they wanted you to do number 10. Okay. 
because you see it again. And it's a lot easier as uh, it's not as messy with the uh, with the Venn diagrams. All right. If uh, nobody else has another one, I've got one other one. Go ahead. It was X is an element of A, and X is not an element of B. That's number uh, 20 on page 80, number 20. Okay. And... I started by putting lines in A. Yeah, and this time we're supposed to do a Venn diagram, right? Correct. No. Uh, okay, X is an element of A, so you shade it in A, right? Yes. Good. And then okay. X is X is not an element of B, so it is the area outside of where they intersect. Is that correct? It's where they intersect. You did just be complement, right? I I didn't do it. Yeah, the way you're doing it, I didn't put a line outside of the entire area. That's because so when it's it not, not an element. Okay, when it's not an element, it should be everything outside of that el uh, element, correct? Yes. It's uh, So not an element of B is the same as saying B complement. Okay. That's where I made my mistake. Now, where do they open? And that, now they, yeah. All intersect in A. Well, three quarters of A. Right, 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 right. Kind of, yeah, kind of that three-quarter moon answer there. Sure. Okay. All right. That was good there. Patrick, did you? Have uh, yeah. You know, um, how about um, I drew a few diagrams, but I I got a little confused. Like maybe uh, page nine. Are we? Are we at page ninety yet? Number. Four? Can I look at number four, or are we not there yet? That's, that's, that's just fine. Let's do that next. I, I had some problems with some of those. But I don't know why, but I got stuck on like four or five. So I, got, I got stuck on some of those. Okay, here's number four on page 90. Um, and I can, I can do it over if you want, but said there are 50 students in algebra and 30 students in chemistry. The, uh, it's almost like you had to go down to part D to first realize in part D do you see that? Patrick, do you see that in part D the problem says there are, there are 10 yeah. students in both. This time taking both, yes. So that's, so that's, that's why that's I wrote that. You know that. That's why I wrote that pen in there. Now, if you go back, there's 50 in algebra. We are write that as a 40. And there are 30 in chemistry. Well, we already had 10, so we got to fill that in with a 20. Now, uh, part C 
do you see part C looks different? Here's the picture in the corner. This time it says there are no students taking both courses. So do you see why those two circles? Patrick, do you see that? Um, yeah, I mean, I see that. She said in part C, it's like, it's like a different problem, and it says in part C, none of them, no people take both. So I drew my okay, circle. Right, right. Separately, there. You see. Okay. Yeah. So there's there's no no intersecting or no overlapping of any sort, pretty much, basically, right? Yeah. E up here. Why this writing is this is uh, going to be a challenge. This writing is not working well, but anyway, get through it. So now, the finish back up at the top, uh, the rest, uh, the beginning of number four, what's the number of students in, in um, set A? In both cases, how many are in circle A up on the top? 50. How many are in circle A on the bottom here? 50. So the answer to that is 50. What are the number of students? 30. And down here? 30. But now here's where it's different. Well, I guess they never asked you that. Number of students in the union of A and C in the first diagram. The union is the inside of the MasterCard symbol. What are you basically add up all the numbers? 70. As opposed to part C, look what happens when you add up the numbers. Now you get uh, 80. You see that? Okay. Yeah, I see that. I don't know. I guess I they really didn't ask in the book. So, but I, I'm trying to get you to understand these relationships. So, maybe I should have started over. Patrick, yes. Why don't you pick another one, at least topic? Um, well, somewhere I mean the the, the following are on the same lines. Uh, number five is I mean is kind of close. Number five. Okay. Yeah. I'm having some confusion for some reason somewhere with some of that. Some of this. Uh, I'll start this one over. You explain it, I get it, but uh, then when I do it myself, I don't. So. <laughs> okay, so I just I just wiped this clean. Let's do this over. There's a hundred families, right? Okay. Let's just write that down on the side here. One hundred. Hey, Ron. Is uh Valencia okay. set time? What? what? I, I was going to say if Valencia is still there, if you can write the page and the number. The problem is she can't. She can't hear, but she can see. Oh, I'll write it on there. Thank you, Brian. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Sir so five is found at seventy five subscribed to time. Okay, uh, time seventy five. And, and ten subscribed to neither. Brian, look at those numbers. They add up to way more than 100, don't they? Yes, they do. 
Yeah, that's where I started getting confused. And right? Patrick, I mean, what is that? Seventy-five plus fifty-five. Ten is one hundred forty. So do you see that we're way over the top? Yes. Here, let, let's put the ten in here at least. Yeah. We know that ten subscribe to neither. Ten, yeah. Ten to neither out in the universe. How many do we have left? Ninety? You have 90 left. And what's 75? 75 plus 55 is 130. 90, 130, 40. Clue, what does that tell you? Overlap. That tells you that tells you that the overlap is 40. I'll just say that again. Okay, we've got after you take the 10 out that don't subscribe to anything, you've got 90 students left. But when you add up the time in the newsroom, so we're 130 minus 90, we're off by 40. That's a clue that that's the overlap. Okay, now come back. Can you see that this would have to be 35 here? Patrick? Um, yeah, not, I can see that, yes. Nope. Why? It says T has to yeah. total 75, and N has to total 55. Maybe 15, and N. Got this nailed. Now you should be able to answer. So now it says how many subscribe to both. Well, that's the 40. So the, the key was finding that, that discrepancy between when you add up everything and yet we knew there were only 90 families left. By finding the difference between them, that gave us the key number 40. Once you get that, the rest of it Patrick, how you doing? Yeah, I see that. Go on. Did you get that? I see that. Yep. Okay. So, go ahead. You can pick another one. Patrick, let me just ask the general. Okay, did any of you have questions on the practice test? No, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. Because that's the practice test is really close to what I'm going to be asking on the test. So, um, that, I haven't uh, seen, sir. That would be a great. I haven't done the test yet. I was going to do that in the next day or two. In in. Uh, okay. I want, what page is that on again? The practice test begins on page 100. So for uh, like page I'm 101. sorry, 101. 101, yeah. Um, like yeah. Item, item number three, the AEIOU, to describe that, those are just balls, and that's number three, 3A. Three 3A. Three yep, I'll go to that right now. Just give me a sec. Number three A. So here's how I wrote it. All X such that X is a vowel. That's just O and U R. 
Right, those are balls. And then B, okay. uh, those are numbers that increase by two starting with two. Just the way I you can see it on the screen there, but your answer sounds good, Brian. Okay. So I wrote all Y such that Y is an even number. There is been two and eight, but your your technique was just as good. Okay, so two it's greater than two and less than eight. Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah, two less than eight. Yeah. You know, for part A, we could have the letters A, B, I, O, and U. You know, we could have described it that way, too. Okay. Could, uh, could we cover... Number uh, 24 in the practice test. You bet. Cardinality of the set. Oh, wow, except 24, I canceled. Do you remember that? Ryan, did you remember I asked you not to do 24? Uh, i got to look at my notes. Uh, here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that yeah, equals okay. zero. It doesn't no, matter. I got it. I but, got it in my notes. But actually, the answer anyway. Because there are triple dots in that, there is no ending place there. Really? That would have to be in, that would have to be infinity. Because right. it, it, it would not be a question I would ask on the test. What is it, 25? Show that the set of all proper fractions with numerator 1 is infinite. So that would be like uh, that's, 1. That's another one I canceled. Oh, 1. Okay. But uh, just for reference, that would be like 1 quarter, 1 eighth. Or 1 um, eighth, 1 quarter. It would just go on and on and on. Just Exactly. Exactly. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah. Well, what about um? I mean, just just for practice, how about like number seventeen. All right, seventeen. I just wanna I wanted to look at that. Maybe one of the multiple uh, multiple like or or maybe even nineteen like nineteen. I mean, it's kind of well. Which one? I've got seventeen up. Would you rather look at? 19? Well, it, it either Which one. one Okay. Okay, here's 19. Okay, let's look at 19. So, 200 students. So, we've got these three categories, French, German, and Spanish, correct? Correct. You've got to set up a diagram that has three circles, F, G, and S. I know you, they didn't have to be the way I did them, but just pick three circles. Okay. Now remember, um, Patrick, the most the, the what you have to do is start with the maximum overlap. Okay. So, in this case, do you see? I underlined it in red. It says it is known that no students are taking all three. Yes, you see that. Uh -huh. Do you see that? Yes. Go ahead. I started by typing zero in right there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay, so we have a zero in the very center. Okay. Now start doing the double overlaps. Like, um, well, yeah. It also says as you go up, 70 are taking no language. So do you see how I put this? Okay. So we're actually reading the problem kind of upside down. Now go. To, what's the next one up? Fifteen are taking German and 
Spanish. Where do German and right, right there. German and Spanish. And that's supposed to total 15. Well, it's easy because there's a zero here. So this next one up. 30 are taking French and Spanish. So now you go to your diagram and where do I'm outlining that right now with my yep. And that has to total 30. Okay. And then the last one is what? 10 are taking French and So here's the French and German intersection. And that has to total 10. Now, now that we have the oh, go ahead. What do you uh, go ahead and speak? No, I was I was good. I'm good. No. Well, I Did you have a table. question about that? Okay. So now you do your single. Oh, now. Now finally say, okay, how many were taking French? Um, 70. Okay. Okay, so now all i got to do is find an F, 70. And that's this 30 right here because 30 plus 30 plus 10 plus 0 is 70. So... Anyway, and then we'll do one more. What's German? German is uh, 40. This this circle has the total 40. 10 plus. So anyway, so you have to do those problems kind of upside down, Patrick. You got to do the overlaps first, otherwise. It'll And then when you're all done with the diagram, now you can answer the question. Two languages? Oh, where did I get the 55 from? Well, where are the people that are taking two? Right here, the 15 plus these 10 plus these 30. And what is that? 15 plus 10, 25 plus 30 is 55. How many people are taking Spanish? How many are taking Spanish? No other language. Well, wouldn't that? And how many are taking Spanish and not French? Do you see that? Yes. That are still outside of the French circle. So that's why that's forty-five. I don't know. Ask anything you want to. Follow up on that. Okay, that's yeah, that's. <laughs> Did we uh, go over number five on the practice test? Yeah, that would be a good one too there. Number five would be a good one. Sometimes I'll swim in some of those there. So the idea of A union B um, is what the Part A is A union B and A joined with everything in B, right? <coughs> and the joining, what's the word for union? Is it and or or? And. Remember that one, Brian? And. You are. Uh, no, for union, it's or. Union is or. Inter so anyway, you are you see they already supplied the word or. Okay, right. Right? So 
Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked you that, but I, it was good practice for the. No, it is because I go back to lesson two point two and I see it in my notes. Yes, every a or every because or, it's everything in it. That's why I put the is an element symbol, and it's everything in. So I put the is an element. So uh, let's just look at that, and then you can ask after that. Uh, part B, A, intersect, B, complement. So it's intersection. So the English word should be and. And it is. Everything, everything in A, so everything A is an element of, but it's B complement, which is everything outside of B. And so now the second symbol has to be is not an element. And that one's done. Okay, oh. let's just look at part C. Oh, go ahead. What would that look on the, uh, the Venn diagram there? Um, is not an element of B, so that that would be everything the part in... B? Yeah, for uh, 5B, if we had to draw that in a Venn diagram, we would line in okay, A. Okay. Uh, I, will, I will do the next. A intersect B complement. So first of all, A. So we line A. Okay, secondly, B complement. B complement is everything outside of B. Which includes the universal yeah. set, and it includes A, but not where A and B intersect. Sorry, I don't have very good control. <laughs> Looks like I should be entered in a kindergarten, and I would lose. So where's the answer? It's uh, see, it's the uh, cross hatch because area. Because it's an intersection. It's the uh, cross hatch. Correct. That three quarter. A three yes. quarters. A. Okay. Yes, that three quarter moon. Now, if we go back to what you were just asking me, um. Yeah, so anyway, um, uh, would, I don't know, that for, for part B, which is what you asked me. Correct. All right. So I, I don't know, any, do you want to keep going? Did we, we should at least talk about C. Part C, uh, you're supposed to, 
fill in the blank part C work. All right, we're supposed to do A complement. And you notice the first part of this has the universal set right here. And then over here. So what's A complement? Well, it's everything in the universal set, but it, and that only overlaps with what's not in set A. So even a complement has got to be inside the universal set, doesn't it? But um, in this case, it is very important. It has to be is not an element of A. Oh, and then part D, did you know that was a little bit tricky? Okay, yeah, let's just let you ask questions. Yeah, I'm just um, trying to absorb uh, C. Yeah. So not a complement of A is everything outside of A in the universal set. So a complement is an element of the universal set, correct? Is that how I understand it? Are you there, Ron? Hey, did you say is it? Is, yeah. Did you a say comp uh, what I said was a complement is everything outside of A in the universal set, so it is an element of the universal set. Yes. Okay, all right. And then a Yeah, so even a complement, so basically a not. Okay. Even a complement has to be a universal set. You're right. Okay, okay. And then a complement is not an element of A because it's everything outside of A. Okay. That is correct. That makes sense. And then A minus B. Now, part D, I want to talk to Sure. Yeah, what's tricky about the last one is this right here. I'll circle it. The last letter they put up here, they put B complement. Okay. The rest of this assignment, all the letters were just regular letters. A, B, B. Q, A, A, and all of a sudden, for the first time, they put a B complement. Uh huh. So that makes this answer different because they're saying, well, basically everything not in B, right? Because this is a bouncer operation. You're kicking out the Bs. But because it's a B complement, we're saying is an element of that. Do you follow? So it's like saying it's everything in the outside of the set, which is a fancy way of saying it's not in there. It's not, which means it's not in B. But let me see, A minus B equals... That's what it means. Yeah. All X minus such that X is an element of A. Yep. X is an element of A. Okay. Yep. And X is an element of B not. Said it that way because that's another way to say B complement. B not. I'm, I'm hung up on the first part, A minus B. I'm, I'm only getting part of. I only got about one third of your audio there. Try to get that. I'm hung up on A minus B. Um, so right. to, we're, we're saying A minus B equals, what, what is X in that? All X, that's, that, X is the general way of saying all the X's that are in A, all are in B complement. Okay. And you know what? You would expect the problem. I'm going to write it at the bottom here. Okay. I would have 
expected This is the way I would have expected. Then he would have been. Straightforward way. Everything in A. And at the same time, it's not in B. Everything is in A and it's not in B. Yeah. That's. That. So everything in A. Okay, take away the B. It's what? Okay. But but because they put a B complement there, that, that's See, the American I, part. So this I, would have been the one I, I would have expected down here. They turned the tables a little bit. I get the A minus B when you do the Venn diagram. That I that I understand. I get hung up on element of A and not an element of B. Okay, then let me show you a diagram of that, okay? Right. Um, here we go. Oops, here we go. So, Is an element of A uh, for that would look like this. There's the X is an element of A. Right. And how do you is not an element of B. So then you erase the uh oh. Well no no. You yes, that's okay, but to answer your question That's the Venn diagram. And how is the problem? Just let me finish, okay? Sure. I'll, um you're right, you would erase. I would totally agree with you, but to explain to explain your question, intersection way here. And where do they intersect, Brian? In three quarters of a. Yeah, and isn't that the same answer we get as doing it your way to fill in all of circle A and then? Right. Wouldn't we get the same thing? Correct. So all I'm trying to show you is this question was set up with an and, so this one kind of forced you. Wait, the answer turns out exactly the same as as the erase, you know, erase this part. You follow? Yes. Okay, good. good. I guess we've done that twice. Yeah. So anyway, that makes sense. 
So it's kind of weird. This is the way I would have way down in the bottom here. Honestly, that's the way I. I this, it was tricky that they, they did. So okay. watch out. All I'm saying is, if watch out if you see a compliment in here, you got to treat it a little bit differently. Okay. I I yeah. Just just keep your eyes open for that. Excuse me. All right. Does somebody else have a question? I'm good. I think that was probably one of the uh, trickier ones on the practice test. Uh, I think that was, you know, you're not used to these symbols, right? Correct. Uh, I, I think that makes this one a hard question. I'm glad you asked about it. Okay. Feel good. Patrick? Patrick, anything? No, not at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go through the test a little bit. But I just agree with you that the symbols were causing a lot of problems. Just a reminder to both. Okay, here's a reminder for both of you. Okay. I'm going to start the next class with. I'm going to start with some more review questions. So you can still ask me questions when we get together next, uh, uh, on Wednesday. OK. Great. Good. I'll be ready. Well, if no more, then I guess we'll, we'll sign up. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for your time, Ron. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Patrick. See you, Brian. See you, Ron.